okay, so, um, so, so the closing uh, on day seven, um, you know, the, the, if, 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 if the buyers qualify to get a loan now, then you're going to go through the whole closing kind of very similar to what you did that I explained earlier about uh, when, when you close when you, the buyer is getting a conventional loan. But if it's a, if it's a lease to own uh, type of closing, then you don't need to go through a title company at all. Okay, you 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 know you just um, you run the you run the buyer's um, um, uh, background checks, um, and so that way the the seller feels safe about having this tenant buyers, and then you get a you get a um, you get a, a, a lease option uh, contract signed with your seller, and then you assign that to the buyer, and you keep you you make sure you're the one that's collecting the down payment from the buyer, and then if your seller if if your agreement with the seller is that you're gonna pay them. Uh, some money for down payment, like either first month's rent as a deposit or, or two months rent, then you give them some of that, and you keep the rest. Yeah, don't 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 give the down payment to to the seller and expect to get it back. It's much harder. Okay, um, you can always have the buyers to you know buy money order or cashier's check and or money order so that way they can write to the straight to the seller for some of it and straight to you for some of it.